as soon as tomorrow a new tropical storm might attempt to form in the Caribbean. We're going to be looking at Invest 95L in this update. It is called an Invest because it is an area of investigation, which means it is being closely watched for development. And this system here has limited time, but it may become a tropical depression or even a tropical storm before making its way into Central America. And then of course, there is Tammy, which is now making its way out of the Caribbean and it made landfall on Barbuda last night with peak winds up to 90 miles per hour. That is a strong cat one and I hope that everyone being affected or who have been affected by Tammy are doing okay now but all hurricane warnings have been discontinued. However, as we're seeing on the satellite imagery here, there is still some activity spreading across the Lesser Antilles. So across various islands, both the Leeward and Windward Islands, there could be periods of heavy downpours that may trigger flooding in in some areas so there could be additional flooding across those which have already experienced some heavy downpours from Tammy as it makes its way out so it's not fully out as yet the main system yes that is out but we can see that there's a lot of activity at least still in the vicinity of the Lesser Antilles despite the discontinuation of those hurricane warnings also looking over to the West Caribbean we see some thunderstorms around the vicinity of the Cayman Islands so there could be some increase in rainfall activity today but our focus with 95 L is down in the southwest caribbean before we move on to that of course we're going to look at tammy for a brief moment here so we can see that maximum sustained winds are 80 miles per hour and there is still that extent of tropical storm force winds across portions of anguilla going to st martin st Barthélemy, potentially for barbuda as well so those seas may be a little bit rough but at the same time the system is making its way out and conditions will only continue to improve as we head through today we're seeing here that tammy is expected to remain a hurricane through much of the week but then as we head to the latter part of the week as wind shear increases and as it makes that turn more to the west it is likely to weaken so we're seeing that s in that white circle which is representative of a post tropical cyclone so we definitely want to watch for impacts in bermuda potentially even the u.s as well models have been all over the place and really the future of tammy is uncertain however i'll be tracking the system day by day and keeping you guys posted with additional updates here on weather extra and also on my main channel, Weather Girl Danny. Now, let's talk about Invest 95L. So here we are looking at the two-day outlook from the National Hurricane Center as of the latest update this morning. And we can see that there is a 50% chance that this could develop. Now, it jumped from 30% in the 2 a.m. update to 50%. And that is through both two days and also seven days. So on the seven-day outlook, here we can see also a 50% chance. So it will be loitering just offshore of Nicaragua, Costa Rica, and also Panama. And it could try to get itself together over the next day or so. Matter of fact, some models want to show it trying to become a tropical storm. GFS going very bullish on it, showing a hurricane, which I don't expect, but I think that it will have a shot at briefly becoming a tropical depression or a storm over in the Southwest Caribbean. Now let's go ahead and take a look at some model data and we're kickstarting looking at the GFS. This is as we head into tomorrow. There is Tammy, still a lot of moisture, which is represented by those green colors. And when we see those black squiggly lines, those are called ice isobars which join areas of equal pressure so just as how with Tammy we're seeing a lot of those circular isobars with a tropical storm or even a hurricane we see a lot of those and the sign of intensification is a decrease in that value we see which represents that minimum central pressure and so going out to Tuesday on the 24th that is when the system is expected to move in so it has roughly a day or two to really try to get itself together and as we head into that time there we can see that the GFS is showing this quickly strengthened with a pressure of 985 millibars just offshore of Nicaragua. This is hurricane intensity here and then eventually we see GFS showing that it is going to be making its way in to Nicaragua. There is Tammy up there. Next we're looking at the European model. We're seeing here that it is showing that area of low pressure. We see that 1007 millibar low but notice that we're not really seeing any circular isobars there and even as we head into Tuesday we see all this activity, all this moisture just spreading across Central America. So you're not showing much as 
as we head to the Canadian model, Canadian showing a little bit of development, but it wouldn't be over water for long enough to really get itself together and become something very organized or very defined out there. As we head to the Icon model again, we're seeing that low pressure area, but the model is not expected much to become of it. So it's really just the GFS showing that rapid intensification of the system into not just a tropical storm, but even a hurricane. But should we actually see a tropical storm become of this? It will acquire the name Vince. So Vince is the next name to be used for this hurricane season. Again, the chances on the rise and as more of those thunderstorms get themselves together and try consolidating, once that trend continues, then the National Hurricane Center will continue to raise that chance and it really doesn't take a whole lot of time for these systems to rapidly form. One of the big contributors is those very warm waters. So as we look at this temperature map, we can see that at the surface, those temperatures are around 30 degrees in the southwestern Caribbean. That will be boosting it to really get those thunderstorms going and uh, trying to become a tropical depression eventually, a tropical storm. Again, there is no guarantee. But then as we look at the model intensity guidance here, that green shading is representative of tropical storm force winds or tropical storm intensity. And so those various lines represent the models. There we can see that as we head into the next 12 hours, uh, the models are expecting that this will quickly develop into a tropical storm but notice how they all come down going below tropical storm status into that white area so again it is going to be moving inland into central america and regardless of it becoming a tropical cyclone or not it is going to be producing a lot of heavy rainfall along nicaragua costa rica and panama and that will likely induce flooding across some areas and even mudslides in those more mountainous areas as well so please take the necessary precautions if you're to be affected by this and do not take any unnecessary risks. Of course, I will continue to keep you posted and stay tuned for my next update coming later this evening on Weather Girl Danny, where I will go into the latest expected of both Tammy and Invest95L. Thank you for tuning in and remember to always be weatherwise.